Hello, good evening students. Welcome back to my channel Smart Codings. This is Shaikot Banerjee on behalf of Smart Codings. Uh, I'm back again with another video. This time uh, I'll be teaching you about the Python programming language. This is my first video on Python programming language, which is very popular and common language nowadays after Java. So today in this video tutorial, I'll be covering the following objectives as you can see in the screen what is python why should we learn python what is python used for versions of python and software required for python uh, learning python so we'll be covering this five topics in this video tutorial today uh, students i have taken the initiative to teach python for the beginners and for cbsc board schools uh, basically for PGT computer science where Python is being taught nowadays initially there was C++ now it is uh, Python they have switch, uh, switched to and most of the universities also are nowadays change their syllabus to Python so thinking all these things keeping all these things in mind I have taken this uh, initiative to teach Python and I'll be demonstrating you each of the concepts of Python in my next video tutorials so for next updates do subscribe my channel and uh, like it comment it if any doubt there's a youtube comment section you can comment it students regarding python tutorials it's very interesting language it's a very common language nowadays so let's get started first thing is python is basically a high level programming language the word high level programming language means that language that has some match to human language like a uh, high level language means it is written in english statements and words numbers which human also understands so to sum out there is a match between human language also that's why it is called high level programming language because computer only understand low level language that is a binary language that is zeros and ones and uh, this high level language must be converted to low level language so that the computer system can understand that that's why it is an interpreted language also. So Python is a high level language programming language as because it has some match with human language also, human readable language. That's why it's a high level programming language. Interpreted language means it is not a compiled language, it is an interpreted language, meaning it should be passed through an interpreter which will convert the language into its low level form because it is, it is in a high level form. Right. Now third point is object oriented programming. That means it deals with the real world objects uh, which contains characteristics and behaviors. All the real world objects which you are dealing with. So Python can be used in, uh, for all the real world objects and that's why it is known as an object oriented programming language. That means program can be broken into this uh, objects which has a characteristics and behaviors. Behaviors can uh, we can also say as a function. Uh, we'll be teaching you these things in detail later on. So, what is basically Python? So, it's a high-level programming language. It's an interpreted language. Why it is interpreted language? I've just now said it's an object-oriented programming language like Java, which deals with the real-world entities. Now, it was created by Guido van Rossum in the year of 1991. So, this is what is a basic introduction to Python. It's a high-level programming language. It's an interpreted language, object-oriented, and it was developed by Guido van Rossum in the year of 1991. So, this is what is about Python. Next is why should we learn Python? We should learn Python because of the following reasons. As you can see, it's very syntax is very simple to the English language, which makes it user friendly to learn quickly. Anybody can learn it very quickly because the syntax is very simple. 
नेक्स्ट इज वी हैव टू राइट फ्यू लाइन्स ऑफ कोड देन अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस एज कम्पेयर टू अदर लैंग्वेजेस लाइक सी सी प्लस प्लस एंड चावा इन दिस पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन वेन वी राइट अ प्रोग्राम इन एन आई डी इट रिक्वेस्ट अ वेरी फ्यू लाइन्स ऑफ कोड सो विच मेक्स इट अगेन सिंपल एंड ईजी टू प्रोग्राम सो नेक्स्ट इज मोस्ट टॉट प्रोग्रामिंग कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज इन स्कूल्स यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस नाउ वट इज इज पाइथन ओके सो इट वर्क ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑल्सो लाइक विंडोज मैक लिनक्स रेस्पेरी बाय ओके सो देर आर मेनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक विंडोज मैक लिनक्स एंड अदर ओ एस प्लेटफॉर्म्स इन विच पाइथन वर्क सो this makes it quite easy right so nowadays it is used in google and nasa and other popular organizations so it is more demanding language so python is more demanding language as because of the following reasons okay so why we should learn python because of these following things so it's very basics next is we'll be going to the next slide where python is basically used for web developments the website developments and other web applications developments is also used for mobile application developments like b using a beaver framework beaver is a framework uh, used in uh, mobile platforms and framework is a term which is used for um, uh, developing any programs or softwares which is required uh, the essential structures which we require for um, developing the mobile applications the word term the framework is a technical term which is a, which means the essential structures required to build that product or objects or build that software or object it is used in data science data science is one of the most popular uh, nowadays machine learning and artificial intelligence in all these uh, fields uh, python is programming is used nowadays in ai is one of the most um, popular technology in computer science where python is used so python is basically used in web development mobile application development data science machine learning and artificial intelligence next is python has basic versions right there are basic three versions of python that is 1 2 and 3 1.x 2.x and 3.x again this 1.x 2.x and 3.x is divided into sub version that is 2.7 and 3.3 Now the most common version is the latest version is three point x. That is a uh, Python three is the latest version in which all other version can work. Now to install a Python, we require a Python software and the Python ID, which I will be uh, showing you demonstration in the next video. And the most common ID is PyCharm. PyCharm, which I'll be installing in the next video tutorial. I will be showing you this uh, how to install a Python and PyCharm ID to write a code. So what's an ID, students? ID is basically an uh, integrated development environment where we write a code and develop a software. So thank you, students, with this basics of Python. I hope uh, this basic introduction to Python is clear to you. If any doubt, any problem, do comment in the YouTube comment section. Smart Codings will always there to help you. Okay, subscribe my channel and uh, like it and to comment it for any clarifications. Thank you. Take care.